الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. So last week we started the discussion of uh, Surah Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام and uh, uh, I, I want you really like to uh, uh, notice as you read the surah and I'm sure uh, you have uh, already noticed that there are a lot of contrasts in, 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 in this surah and, and, and uh, an interpretation, if you like, or assessment of why the, 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 uh, uh, what really accounts for uh, these contrasts, why they are uh, uh, um, uh, 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 two sides, if you like, uh, to, uh, to, to the same matter and, uh, uh, w- w- um, and so that really the, the reader uh, will be able to uh, make up his or her uh, uh, mind, okay, and uh, make the best uh, really a, a, a choice for, uh, f- uh, for themselves. Uh, just as an example of what we discussed last week, at the beginning of the surah, and the contrast is those who so you can see verse number one is in contrast to verse number two. And then verse number three, it starts with ذَلِكَ. It is because, okay, uh, for, uh, for that reason, okay. ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا اتَّبَعُوا الْبَاطِنِ وَأَنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّبَعُوا الْحَقَّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ so if if I if I may read it in, 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 in English, you can see the contrast. As for those who are bent on denying the truth and on barring others from the path of God, all their good deeds will he let go to waste. Whereas those who have attained to faith and do righteous deeds and have come to believe in what has been bestowed from on high on Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, for it is the truth from their sustainer, he will efface their past bad deeds and will set their hearts at rest. This because they who are bent on denying the truth pursue falsehood, whereas those who have attained to faith pursue uh, the truth from uh, that is coming from their sustainer. So you can see, okay, that and the, the surah and this uh, uh, approach or this uh, uh, image or scenery you will see repeated in um, in, in in that surah. Uh, Again, the, 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 the idea uh, or the central idea or this will be rotating ar- uh, around the, the focal uh, 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 central theme of the surah or the axis of, of the surah, most likely, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَى قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا are they really like pondering uh, or uh, uh, why not? Okay, uh, uh, they ponder about Quran or their hearts are locked. And so this is why they are not thinking. And again, pondering here or the, the term, the, the Quranic term used is which means that they are not stopping at the surface, okay? Uh, uh, they are not superficial, okay, in their reading of, of Quran, but they really go deeper 
and they realize that every meaning they reach at, there is another one behind it. Okay? And so that would uh, g uh, give them the chance to dig deeper and deeper to, uh, and that's the structure of Quran, okay, that makes it in this way will make it uh, fit any, any, uh, uh, any time or for any generation to approach Quran and uh, extract from it, okay, extract from it the vision needed and the solutions needed for their time and the place, okay? And so the, uh, um, uh, 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 and also it, uh, it, it has the, the uh, when you, you think deeper, okay? And you go beyond or what sometimes we, we say, uh, like read between the lines, okay? Which means that you start asking yourself questions related to the implications. What would be the implications? Okay, if I go in that direction, you see, and, and so Quran uh, is, is really a, a treasure when it comes to this uh, idea of helping us to uh, 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 think about the consequences. And, and the surah is full of that. Uh, we, I, I just gave you the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the example from the first three verses that you, you need to approach Quran in this way. And Quran is helping you, okay, to, to, to take that approach and, and think about what would be really the, the implications if I take that path. And what are the implications if I take another path? And that is really embedded in this very, I, I, I don't think there is a word, okay, we are using ponder, okay, but I don't think it will really, uh, is not totally synonymous with the word yatadabbaru. So you can see you, you need like uh, sentences to explain it rather than just like give a, 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 a word in, in another really uh, language. And again, because uh, 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 the language of Quran is uh, highly metaphorical, okay? Because uh, uh, when we say adbar uh, 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 or dubur, or, which is something, uh, I mean, that behind, okay? And so when it comes to the meanings of Quran, which are limitless. قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ الْبَحْرُ مِدَادًا لِكَلِمَاتِ رَبِّي لَنَفِدَ الْبَحْرُ قَبْلَ أَنْ تَنْفَدَ كَلِمَاتُ رَبِّي وَلَوْ جِئْنَا بِمِثْلِهِ مَدَدًا So, uh, in, uh, in, uh, on, uh, if, if we say that uh, Quran is the book for, for the present era, okay, uh, uh, and there will be a lot of changes. So, Unless Quran has that ability to, to provide us with these, the, the, the limitless meanings, there will be, you cannot then say that it, 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 uh, it will be, it will fit, okay? Or it will be uh, the, uh, the, the reference for this really era. But because it, it has that capacity, and this is why in order to get to the a meaning that is hiding behind a superficial one or the one that you have reached or others have reached, okay? It requires really more digging, okay? And in order to dig, 
it means that you need to ask questions at a higher level of understanding. And these questions cannot be generated spontaneously. That in order to generate these new questions, it means that we have a better reading of, of our really situation, a better reading, okay? Uh, and that requires sometimes sciences to come together in order to read. Honestly, if when I try to read my patient, okay, I find that for even a simple disease, I find that I am using so many sciences in order to answer one question. Does this patient have, let us say, infection of the lungs, like pneumonia, for example? But you can see that I have to understand epidemiology, I have to understand anatomy, I have to understand physiology, I have to, uh, to understand microbiology. I have so many basic sciences have to come together in order to answer that question. And that the answer to that question will open another question that will get me even closer to the truth without owning the truth. You Dr. got Fair. it? Yes, yeah. please. Um, in uh, what you are saying, um, this is uh, this word is used in another place where mm -hmm. in Surah An Anfal. Yes. Uh, I number, let's see, uh, I number 50. ولو ترى إذ يتوفى الذين كفروا كفروا الملائكة يضربون وجوههم وأتبارهم وذوقوا عذاب الحريق. So the literally meaning is that the malaika will be really uh, the azab on those people will be very severe and it will go very deep. So what you are saying that you know the thinking process should be also in Quranic words, Quranic, you know, uh, ayahs should be very deep and we should be uh, mm -hmm. really analyzing yeah. these from another ayahs and other places in the Quran. Yeah, but uh, uh, th this is very good, no question about it. But Quran used the same language. Afala yatadabbarun al-Quran in another place that we uh, uh, recited last time, but uh, it's, it's worth really going back to it because it really support really why, why it is important to, to make that a process of tadabbur or to stick, if you like, and, uh, 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 and train, okay, ourselves, students, scholars, how to do, and I, I, I think it, 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 it can be translated to be a science by itself, okay? L let me uh, uh, show you this from Surat An-Nisa. Um, verse number 82 and 83. It's very beautiful. I mean, the way, I mean, just to, uh, to, to see the connection and that would help us to make these connections in Surah Muhammad. So, Afala yatadabbaruna al-Qur'an. You see, the same language. But here, وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا You cannot have a reference that will give you contradictory answers. So consistency becomes very important. And Quran is saying, وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا So in other words, Anything other Quran has that, uh, that potential because it is so difficult. It requires God, Allah himself, okay, to make sure that 
this uh, revealed book is devoid of any contradiction or inconsistencies. God, now read now the next verse. Why that? So see how, why tadabbur is very important. Okay. وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ أَمْرٌ مِنَ الْأَمْنِ أَوْ الْخَوْفِ أَذَاعُوا بِهِ Every time a, a, a news reach them, however it is in the state of security or peace or in the state of uh, uh, fear and, and war. And uh, 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 so they, what, what they do? Okay, they start broadcasting these rumors without verifying them. So Quran is telling them what to do. You need to refer it to those who can help you. How they can help? Because the Prophet at, at, in, in, in his life was the leader. And his absence will be Ulil Amr, yeah. those who are in charge. And, and you cannot have one person in charge of everything. But if you need somebody uh, like today, okay, uh, you can uh, classify, if you like, uh, Dr. Fauci when it comes to COVID, okay, we say that he's an authority. Whether you like him or you don't like him, regardless, okay? But when it comes to, to the science behind, okay, the understanding of the disease and how to treat it and how to prevent it, okay, you need people of that caliber. And he is Wali Amr. He is not the president. He is not a, a minister. He is not a secretary of this uh, of, or that. But he is in charge of some, and he is an, a health official that he will be informing the president and, and the cabinet and the government. You see what I mean? So, yeah. This is the people who are capable of making inferences from, from Al Quran that they are pondering on it. Definitely, Quran will not tell you how to treat COVID. But Quran will help you to, to put the right policy, okay, that will uh, 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 ensure that the treatment is reaching everybody without any type of disparity. Just as a, one example, okay? But you see what I mean? Like, so in every time, and this happens all, all the time, especially in, in, uh, in the media, social media. I mean, now the number of rumors are really more than the facts <laughs> on the social media. So one has to really to be careful. And so what do you do? You, you go back to, to uh, to uh, to uh, like uh, 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 foundations or references that will help you to verify is this really right or wrong? If, as a Muslim, if we have even higher responsibility, yes, to not just verify based on other information, but verify against. The teaching of Quran to say yes. is that compatible what we are uh, hearing? I think that's that's exactly. That's the biggest thing. 
and 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 the, the the issues will not end and as time goes on there will be a lot of new things coming up and again the 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 understanding okay the more the, the 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 better reading i make okay of the situation in terms of its time place and person and circumstances and here comes that this is why i always say is is the uh, the uh, not the sciences that will help me to understand quran these sciences will help me to refine my question to Quran. You see what I mean? It's, 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 not, it's, it's very important distinction. These sciences are not helping me to understand Quran, but they are helping me to refine my questions, my reading of the situation so that I can pose the question in the best refined way so that I can get the, the, the best answer. And so what then are these sciences that will help me to understand the time, space, and all these really uh, 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 sciences that are related to understanding the human being from sociology, psychology, anthropology, human geography, history, philosophy of history, and so on and so forth. Look at the courses that are given at, at universities. They are all related to issues that are really we are facing. You, in, in no time you can see a, 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 a new course is being formulated trying to understand the situation in order to come up with certain solutions. So why we do not do the same thing, okay, of how we can improve our reading, the idea of اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق. In order to create, you need to improve your reading. And again, I mentioned to you last time that the farmer is the best to read his land or her land. He, may be, he or she may be illiterate, but they know how to read. And so they will be the best to know what, how, how to, to grow the, the, the best crops and to have the best harvest. And in fact, <laughs> Brothers Naji book is really about that. How Quran can, how we can infer from Quran a, and formulate out of it a new science that has to do with the guidance, with the direction. Quran doesn't tell you how to build a bridge and to be the best engineer, but it can help us in the direction, what direction we have to give for all these inventions, for all these actions that we are taking in this life. The others, how to build a bridge and how to build a house and how to reach the moon. And I mean, all these, the, the universe is the reference. And immediately the, the universe can give you the verdict. If it is working or if it does not really work. In no time, I mean, like, I mean, the moment you start using it, it will tell you if it is working or not. And it does not really like uh, 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 ask who is doing that, doesn't care. 
and doesn't care how you are going to use it. It will only tell you if it works or if it does not work. Very, very important distinction. And you can see we have been talking about this for years. And the reason because it is not an easy thing to accept. That the, we have to differentiate between the universe that informs us about our actions but in addition to that we need the revelation to inform us about the direction of these actions and this is why the central verse in the surah afala yatadabbaruna alquran am ala qulubin aqfaluha there is no way for quran to to reach you if you are putting locks لا يمسه إلا المطهرون and for Quran to 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 uh, just touch us it requires a high level of goodness high level of purity So last time we came to verse number Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu in tansurullaha yansurkum wa yuthabbit aqdamakum which is verse number uh, uh, 7 So ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu in Tansurullaha Yansurkum, where you thabbit Akdamakum. We have said that the, 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 the those who are really uh, are um, uh, denying the truth or bent on denying the truth and barring others from uh, the, the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obstructing the message of Allah, okay? They may use violence to, to achieve their objectives. So the believers have to stand up, protect themselves, protect their freedom and the freedom of others, the freedom of conscience, the freedom of religion, the freedom of worship. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is promising the believers that if you give victory to Allah, Allah does not need our victory, but it means that you are making his beautiful names a prevail which, from which all the high values emanate like justice, like mercy, like forgiveness, if you make these prevail, if these are really your objective, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you prevail. And he will support you to stand up. Look at the contrast. This word, ta'san, can you please uh, underlie ta'zan lahum it means like when you see somebody falling okay and cannot really come stand up so it is like a state of decline in contrast to the yuthabbit aqdamakum so you are not slipping you don't even slip Yuthabbit aqdamakum. Can you underline yuthabbit This is the contrast. The believers are supported to stand up and without slipping. 
and those who are rejecting the truth, obstructing the message, the path of Allah, they will be in a state of decline. They will be falling. They will be humiliated. They will be disappointed. وَأَضَلَّ أَعْمَالَهُ they, they will not see the results of their deeds or, or they, they will not reach their objectives. Their deeds uh, will be sent to naught. Now again we see another dhalika. This is because why they are really they, they, they will they will be slipping and falling and declining. They did not just reject it or they decided not to follow. And this is their really choice. La ikraha fiddin. And remember, Surah Al Baqarah was revealed before, was revealed at the beginning of the Medina period. And in Surah Al Baqarah, we, we have seen, definitely in addition to other places in Quran, but this is, became like the epitome of. Of, of that idea, okay, of a freedom of, of religion, la ikraha fiddin, okay? So here Quran is saying, these people are just, nobody is forcing them to, to join or to accept to, or to embrace, but they are obstructing. They, they, they not only made up their mind not to, to, to accept the new message, but they hated what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed. Karihu. This is a big word. Karihu ma anzal Allah. Fa'ahbata a'malahum. So their deeds really cause their deeds to come to naught. Okay. But the, the, the idea of of, and that is the what is behind, okay, their violence. This is what is behind, okay, they are fighting others who uh, and preventing them from making their own choices. Here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, like other and other we have seen in other uh, surahs, Quran used different methodologies, okay, to support uh, or to uh, help the people to see the contrast. And also, again, here comes the idea of implications, the consequences, and the best resource to see that are really previous experiences, history. أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَيَنْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Have they not traveled, moved around on this earth to see what happened, what was the consequence, عاقبة? Can you underline or highlight this word, عاقبة? Don't you think that it is compatible with Afala Yatadabbaruna al Quran? Yes. You see, it's very beautiful because when you are reading history and you are pondering, okay, you are not just reading about the event or the events that happened, but what were really the, the implications? And here comes really the the, uh, the, the genius uh, Ibn Khaldun because he changed the paradigm of the study of history. History was just about historical accounts. 
Ibn Khaldun came and asked this big question, why these events happened? Why civilizations arise and others will fall? What is the meaning of culture? What is the meaning of civilization? This is the whole thing that, I mean, uh, uh, and from, from Ibn Khaldun on, you can see how history and the study of history and the philosophy of history it changed. Or in fact, he probably started, okay, the idea of the philosophy of history. And if it, as, as uh, 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 Iqbal, rahimahullah, said, that if it were not for Quran, Ibn Khaldun would not have been able to see the dynamicity in history. You see, when you are talking about people who have built a culture and then it became a civilization and for one reason or another, they went through a decline and he wanted to understand why that civilization declined. This is a change. This is dynamic. Things are not really stay the same. They are changing all the time. And you can see it in this verse. Where they, how they started and how they ended. Not the same. دمر الله عليهم destroyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed what they have really built wiped them out دمر الله عليهم وللكافرين أمثالها and for those who denied the truth today at the time of revelation of Quran, talking to the those who are denying the truth in Mecca, under the leadership of their elites, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning them about a similar outcome if they continue on that same path. amthaluha. They will see something of the like. Again, we see Thalika, another Thalika. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will support the believers and will destroy their, their enemies? Thalika bi anna Allah mawla alladhina amanu wa anna al kafirina la mawla lahum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the supporter of the believers. You see, if you are on the side of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be on your side. You see, if you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help, he is al-mu'een. Is that right? Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Nasta'een. We are asking you for help. Al-mu'een. If you connect with Al Mu'in, he will support you. He will provide you. So the, the problem is instead of asking why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not helping, when the last time you helped someone? So we need to change the question. Instead of asking why Allah is not helping us, we have to ask 
when the last time we help others, including ourselves. And al Quran and its methodology and, and its vision. The vision of Quran is that this life doesn't, or this existence doesn't end with death. This is temporary, a temporary hold. Or uh, what they call it, uh, uh, a hiatus between this life and another bigger and everlasting life. In other words, to what extent have we prepared ourselves for a bigger life? A a higher creation, Khalq Jadid. And now we understand why immediately Quran goes to the next life. In Allah Yudhilu Ladila Aman. Again, it's part of Tatabur to think about consequences. Consequences in this life, Dammar Allah Alayhim Walil Kafirina Amfaluha. Or in Tansurullah Yansurkum. And in the hereafter, you see the reflection of that contrast. In Allah Yutkhilu Ladina Amanu wa Amilu Salihat, Jannat. Tajri min Tahtiha al Anhar. They will rest in, in the gardens of paradise, the believers. And those who are denying and rejecting the truth and obstructing the path, yes, in this life, they, they, they may enjoy part of it. Ya'kulun. But they are really eating like al-an'am, like, like the animals are all the, all the time eating. But you were not created only to eat. Is that right? Yeah. As Isa alayhi salam used to say, ليس بالخبز وحده يحيى الإنسان. You cannot live only on bread. In other, uh, Isa عليه السلام is saying that Eating and drinking is not the end of this life. We have nothing against an an'am, but you are not created to be an an'am. You are created to be a human being. You have a different mission and you have a different responsibility. Don't go down. Don't diminish your responsibility. This is very uh, like eating like, you know, like cattle and yeah. animals is very uh, symbolic too, because yeah. if you leave animals to eat, they will eat <laughs> the entire garden or entire, you know, without knowing when to stop eating, right? Like they will continue to feed themselves until you put measure. Like, so that's why that it's not just eating, active eating like cattle, animal, it's more of act of when do you know how to eat, what, how to perform your duties, how to yeah, exactly. control yourself. Exactly, yeah. Food, yeah, yeah. And in fact, the animals, they basically they eat like to sustain themselves. Right. Okay, but unfortunately, humans can sometimes eat more than what they need. Exactly. <laughs> you see, but the point is, don't behave, okay, at or or take a role that is not your role. Mm -hmm. You see, the animals are there to to eat, like to uh, and to, to 
to take care of you uh, of themselves and to take care of of other things they were really created for but you were not created to 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 have their role you have a different role you are not talking about you are better right you see what i mean you are you are in a in a different category when it comes to your responsibility you are responsible over these animals don't act as if you are one of them no no you are not i think in the next ayah you're going to be reading uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has differentiate and give a very good example kaman zuyyana lahu su wa amalihi wattaba'u ahwa'ahu which we will come to know exactly exactly so so you are right very good i mean the the the, the, the connection is great okay so the wattaba'u ahwa'ahu okay you, you you hunger is 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 one of our desires thirst is one of but they are the lowest desires and there are even higher desires that we have to 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 understand and control you see what i mean we have to respect but control and so the the and uh, if we make these desires the end point that would really divert us from the our higher mission you see so the, 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 the so in other words the desires are should only remain as means to protect us and sustain us and and keep us alive but there are other things that we in order to take care of other things wan naru mathwan lahum if the believers are in the gardens of paradise the the those who deny the truth will be in in the hell fire it will be their abode another contrast wa ka'in min qaryatin hiya ashadd quwwatan min qaryatika allati akhrajak ahlaknahum fala nasir lahum this is in reference to makkah we know how the elites of mecca uh, 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 showed their animosity to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his followers and again uh, as you remember we said that this surah came after surah al anfal and in surah al anfal you see which is number 7 I'm, I'm, uh, I, I mean number eight, verse number thirty. It really summarizes what the the Meccans at the time did to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and I mean consequently or subsequently like to to his followers. وَإِذْ يَمْكُرُ بِكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِيُثْبِتُوكَ أو يقتلوك أو يخرجوك they either they want to restrain you to kill you or to kick you out expel you from Mecca definitely Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam made the decision to leave okay but everything they were doing caused him to make that decision to leave mecca the place where he was born and raised and here quran is referring to 
to Mecca as they uh, plotted to expel Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Quran is saying, okay, do, you, do they think that they are stronger? That town or city that expelled you, do you think that they are stronger? They have more power than other cities in the past that we have wiped out? The same thing, another contrast. أَفَمَنْ كَانَ عَلَى بَيِّنَةٍ مِّنْ رَبِّهِ كَمَنْ زُيِّنَ لَهُ سُوءُ عَمَلِهِ وَاتَّبَعُوا أَهْوَاءَهُمْ Do you think that those who are really, uh, 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 they have a clear path, self-evident, or they live by the self-evident truth, coming to them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, are they the same as those who, who's really, um, uh, 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 they were lured by their, by their actions, following as they are really following their lusts and desires? So, so, so you can see, uh, and the following verse becoming very uh, clear contrast again in the hereafter. Al Jannah, now we have more description of Al Jannah and more description of the, the hellfire as final outcomes. مثل الجنة التي وعد المتقون فيها أنهار من ماء غير آسل أنهار rivers of water that has its color has not changed أنهار من لبن لم يتغير طعمه rivers of milk that its uh, uh, taste has not been changed. Anharum min khamrin ladhatin lisharibi. Rivers of, of wine that those who drink it will enjoy it. Wa anharum min asalin musaffa. Rivers of a purified honey. Is this the same? Like those who end in the hellfire come and, and they will be staying there forever. Khalidun come and who are Khalidun Finnar Wasukuma and Hamiman Fakata and Ma'ahum. They will find water, but that will be very hot water that will cut their own guts their own intestines uh, again i mean the, the just to see the implications and the consequences in this life and in the hereafter please look at these verses 12 13 14 15 12 13 you can see 13 can you go a little bit up to see if you can see 12 Shaquille, yes, okay. Uh, yeah, and then we cannot see 15. But anyway, if you can notice 12 and 15, if you, um, in other words, if you draw an imaginary line between 13 and 14, draw an imaginary line between 13 and 14. If you li like a horizontal line, no, 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 a horizontal line between 13 and 14. 
horizontal, not vertical, horizontal uh, between 13 and 14. Yes. Now, if uh, th this line, okay, now you can see 13 and 14 become symmetrical. And 12 and 15 become symmetrical. You see the first one talking about Al Jannah and, and hell, paradise and hellfire, and 15 complemented with more description, with more details. 13 and 14 distinctions, okay, between those who think, I mean, like, uh, 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 looking back in history to see what happened to those like the people in Mecca who diverted from the path of Allah, who want to die, uh, reject and obstruct the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you can make the contrast and the distinction the, the believers who are on the on, on a clear path from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be there are they the same as the people in Mecca who are really in, are staying in the darkness of their bad actions and following their desires so uh, you can see also internal if you like uh, symmetry within the surah itself very beautiful can you go back uh, 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 brother Shaquille to the model uh, that we are following uh, yes so, so, th th so this is the first part verses 1 to 15 and we saw the contrast and and the reason that differentiate the, the, the two uh, pathways okay if you look at the symmetrical part verses 32 to 38 you, you can see how that part complemented really the, uh, also talking about the, uh, the outcome and the consequences, okay? And, and also um, assessment of the situation, trying to understand, having a deeper understanding of what is really going on. So, inna kafaru. Again, you can see the the the, the, the same language. Inna ladina kafaru wa saddu an sabilillah wa shaqur rasula. While at the beginning of the surah we saw, aladina kafaru wa saddu an sabilillah. Okay. Uh, uh, while those who the believers. They they are they they be, those who believe and they did good and they believed in what was revealed to Muhammad. Here we see that the those who are bent on denying the truth and barring others from the path of Allah, they also took a side other than the side of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in animosity. It's not just making a choice, but they want, they are using violence. As we saw before, different forms of violence, restraining, killing, or expelling. Okay? So the uh, this is the idea of shaqur rasul. Can you underline the, 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 the word shaqur rasul? Shaqur rasul, they took a side other than the side. And they 
opposite to the side of Muhammad, but again, in animosity. من بعد ما تبين لهم الهدى. After the hud, the guidance was clarified to them. Here you can see a promise from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Okay. And to taking care of the believers that don't think they are going to harm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way or shape. And they definitely, they will not harm you. They may cause little harm here and there, but they will not really change the outcome. لن يضر الله شيئا. They cannot harm Allah subhanahu wa taala in the last, in the least. وسيحبط أعمالهم. Their actions will not lead to the outcomes that they desire. And this is why the believers have to stick. and to cling strongly to their belief and the obedience of Allah and his prophet. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu, ati'u allaha wa ati'u al-rasoola, wa la tubtilu a'malakum. Don't behave like the other side, where their actions will go or come to naught. Don't let your actions go in vain. Give your actions the right direction, the direction of the truth, the direction of the obedience of Allah and his messenger. Again, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَصَدُّوا عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ مَاتُوا وَهُمْ كُفَّارِ فَلَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ there is here an allusion that there is still room for those who deny the truth. There is still room to, to, to repent, but you have to hurry up because if you die on that situation, in that case, in that state, matu wahum kuffar. If they die as disbelievers, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will not forgive them, will not pardon them. So, when you are in conflict. And sometimes, as we said, that conflict becomes, may come a shooting conflict. It may be, become a violent conflict. Quran is saying, do not weaken before your enemies. فَلَا تَهِنُوا وَتَدْعُوا إِلَى السَّنْفِ you, I mean, don't in a state of humiliation and weakness ask for a peaceful resolution. You see, uh, again, back to Surat Al-Anfal, which was revealed before, and it talked about peace and how the believers, if they sense from their enemy, any inclination to peace, they have to incline to peace, to peace. But they will be doing it, okay, as a brave and a strong people, not as weak and humiliated. You see, the, the, the verse is really, again, Surat Al- 
al anfal number eight, verse number I will say, let us uh, see if, uh, uh, 60 and 61, because that will give you the contrast or here. وَأَعِدُّوا لَهُمْ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ مِنْ قُوَّةٍ وَمَنْ رِبَاطِ الْخَيْرِ You have to show power, strength, when you are facing your enemy. Not to be weak, you have to prepare. And you have, you need this, this mental toughness and, and resilience. Okay? Here in that situation, if you are in, in, in a, in, because you want to stop the war, and we have seen in this surah, as well in Surah Al-Anfal, how important it is to, to, to be tough in order to stop the war and give a message to your enemy that it is not a picnic to go to war, okay? Only then, don't go after uh, 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 spoils and things uh, of this world and, and to have uh, 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 prisoners and then you exchange them or ransom them for money and, and other worldly things. This should not be on, on your agenda. If you are strong and you, uh, uh, um, uh, you are decisive on, on the battlefield, then you are in a strong position, even if you sense inclination to peace, incline to it. You shall incline to it. This is why Imam Ali said, Inna Allaha farad salam This is an order. Fajnah laha. Okay? But do not go into a apparently peaceful situation while you are weak and, and your enemy will take advantage of you. فَلَا in, in Surah Muhammad. وَلَا تَهِنُوا فَلَا تَهِنُوا وَتَدْعُوا إِلَى السَّلْمِ So they are connected. These two are connected together. Can you go back to Surah Muhammad, please? So the verse is not saying, La tad'u ila salm. It's saying, Fala tahinu. Can you underline the word tahinu? Do not weaken. You see, don't, don't ask for peace when you are in a weak situation, humiliating situation. فَلَا تَهِنُوا وَتَدْعُوا إِلَى السَّلْمِ وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you prevail, will rise you up and high. As he told Musa alayhi salam before. وَأَلْقِ مَا فِي يَمِينِكَ فَأَوْجَسَ فِي نَفْسِهِ خِيفَةً مُوسَى قُلْنَا لَا تَخَفْ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْأَعْلَى Don't be afraid, Musa. When he was really facing the magicians, okay? At one time, for a moment, he, he became, he was scared. He told him, don't be scared. You will prevail. I am with you. وَأَلْقِ مَا فِي يَمِينِ فَغُلِبُوا هُنَالِكَ وَانْقَلَبُوا صَاغِرِينَ They were defeated. So, وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَ Not, I, I don't like the word supreme. Sometimes you find it like in certain translations. No, no, no. You, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rise you high. You will prevail. 
because Allah is with you. Wallahu ma'akum. Walan yatirakum a'malakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not waste your efforts. You will not take anything out of it. It will reach these actions were you, you will reap if you like what you have really done. And again, this is complimentary in Tansurullah Yan Surkum by you sabbit akdam. If you are with Allah, Allah will be with you. If you give victory to, to Allah, meaning his, his beautiful names and all the high values that emanate from them, he will make you prevail. But do not go to peace while in a humiliating, in a state of humiliation. And then it's become clear that what, what makes them falter if they really change their objective, if they start including in their agenda things that are related to worldly things. And this is a, 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 a big challenge. And this is why the believers have to be warned. Huh. You you are uh, you are not going to uh, to war or or to, uh, to, for for your personal and uh, uh, and communal interest. In other words, like for worldly things, for spoils and all the. إنما الحياة الدنيا لعب ولا وإن تؤمنوا وتتقوا يؤتكم أجوركم ولا يسألكم أموالكم. You see the, 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 the uh, your resources have to be dedicated. And so if if uh, uh, if the uh, if the believers become imprisoned in this life and 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 its entertainment and its play, okay, they will not really be able to achieve their higher objectives. But if you believe and you exercise taqwa to protect you from the prison of this life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the results and you will see the consequences of your actions. Allah is not asking you to give you all your possessions. No, Allah understand that this is too difficult on, on us or to ask us something that is really beyond our, uh, our ability. Some people may do it, okay? But voluntarily, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you the minimum and then you go from there. He's not asking you to give all your resources and all your possessions. But if he asks you, because if he asked you and insisted on you, instead of your belief increases, it will go down and you may become stingy. You will not give anything. You see, this is a very deep understanding of our own psychology that there is no one can understand it better than Allah himself who created us. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that if I ask you all your possessions and I insisted on you to do that, this is yuhfikum. Yuhfikum is like, like uh, 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 go to the extreme in insistence. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and demanding. And in this situation, Allah is saying, and the, so in, in this situation, you are not going to, to <coughs> spend out. You will become stingy. And your uh, 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 shortcomings will come out. يخرج أضغانكم. You see, so, so in other words, it will give the opposite effect. The idea of spending out is really to, to increase your belief and your faith and your goodness. But if the demand is too high, it may give really the opposite result. Here, what comes? Yes, please go ahead. I was going to say that how would like this is where we're talking about Allah will tell us when will compel us and demand us. So I think it's not because it's not going to come wahi uh, to us and tell us to give money. I think mm -hmm. we have to be the judge based on all the framework that Allah has described. We mm -hmm. have to make the judgment like okay, this issue requires our most need these are like exactly you know, poverty has the most need yes. this thing we will that's the idea to us to come up with that and understand Very, what are the yes. needs and allah will give exactly. us exactly intelligence and intellect to figure mm -hmm. that out ourselves exactly and again the, the best thing is really definitely to come out of our own volition our out of our love and understanding that and uh, the, that this is the way to liberate ourselves, okay, from the prison of the things of, of this life. But at the same time, it will really, uh, uh, this is highly needed to protect our own freedom from the people who are trying really like to uh, jeopardize it and obstruct it. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going like to, to compel you, okay, and, and insist. And, no, this should be ha antum ha li fi It is an invitation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you to spend in his way. فَمِنْكُمْ مَنْ يَبْخَلْ وَمَنْ يَبْخَلْ فَإِنَّمَا يَبْخَلُ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ In other words, as you, as you recall, بَخِلَ is like to be stingy. But stingy is not the one in the, in the vocabulary of Qur'an. It's not somebody who does not spend. Somebody who does not spend in good causes. He does not spend in the way of Allah. In fact, there are people who spend to obstruct the way of Allah. You remember? In Alladina Kafaru Yun Fikuna Amwalahum Liya Suddu An Sabilillah. No, here you are invited to spend in the way of Allah to protect yourself, your freedom, and the freedom of others, and their freedom of conscience and the freedom of worship. But unfortunately, some of you become stingy, they don't want they do not respond to that invitation. But if you do not respond to that invitation you, and you become stingy, you become stingy for, on yourself. You are not going to harm Allah with this. You are not going to harm the cause itself. You are harming yourself. Wallahu al wa antum al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need us. We need him. He is the rich, we are the poor, we need him. وَإِن تَتَوَلَّوْ يَسْتَبْدِلْ قَوْمًا غَيْرَكُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَكُونُوا أَمْثَالَكُمْ And I think this, you see, it's amazing. Oh, I mean, the outcome, you see, if you, if you do not do it, others will do it. We will replace you by others who can do it. You will it. be left behind. You are, be, exactly, you will be left behind. Yes, it's so beautiful. You will be left behind and you will not harm 
accept yourself. You see, so so it is it is so beautiful again. How I mean the 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 the, uh, the, 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 the surah, okay, is really by asking us to ponder about Quran. It means that you have really to ponder and reflect on your actions, on your choices, on your assumptions. Okay. Are, are we really basing our decisions on right assumptions or wrong assumptions? You see, are we taking the right actions? Are we thinking about the implications and the consequences? This is why, honestly, we need a lot of understanding of our situations. And we really need more and more of social scientists. The same way you need doctors to understand the health of the human being. But I also need these doctors to understand the health of the society. What is healthy for them and what is not? Yeah. What are the consequences? Take a simple example. I mean, you have seen how, how much, how the prices are rising. And that I'm sure it will put more, it will raise further, further for example, the, 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 the tuition for colleges and universities. And we are getting into, I mean, we are fostering and unfortunately promoting the same problem, which is that higher education will be only available for those who have. Money. Yeah. And those who don't have the resources, they will be deprived or they will be burdened with more debt till the last day of their of their of their life is this healthy no i can afford it but doesn't mean that it is right yeah like you always say quality of conditions yes equality yes. of conditions and we don't see the equality of conditions democracy is not only about about voting oh. voting is just the beginning one manifestation the simplest probably manifestation of democracy but equality of condition is the underpinning of any democracy So I, I, I think we, are, again, you see how, I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, the, I, the idea of tadabbur, how deep it is and where we have to apply it. Apply it about our own conditions, about the condition of the society. Where are we heading? What vision you need for the, the moment that you live in? I cannot go by the vision of those who were be, be, before me, who had different challenges, who had different questions, who had different uh, uh, situations. And this is why we need institutions to do that, not one person. And we need resources to run these institutions to support these institutions. And, and, and this is, I mean, I th we thought that this becomes another activity of, of Huda Institute. Because the idea is how we can really uh, work more on ideas expand our ideas, expand our vision, and see how we can 
interact together to, to make that vision a possibility. Inshallah. Okay, I, I will stop here and inshallah we'll uh, go to the other sections of the surah. Uh, uh, not next week because next week is uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, so we will uh, skip that and meet inshallah in December.